Hi everybody, my name is Suzette Metcalf. I'm the chef and owner of the Pasta Tree Restaurant and Wine Bar in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is my second year of the International Women's Series. I started it last year. It was March 8th, it was International Women's Day, and I just wanted to wish all of my girlfriends happy International Women's Day. And I started tagging people on Facebook and it just became like really overwhelming and had a little bit of an aha moment and thought, wow, I got a lot of really powerful, beautiful, amazing, influential women in my life and I really wanted to celebrate them. I felt really honored actually to be surrounded by such amazing women. All of them really are like independent you know, business owners, just heavy hitters in the community. I wanted to find a way to celebrate them and I guess selfishly also incorporate my, my restaurant. So I thought about it and I came up with honoring each of these women, you know, one per month and had them pick a dish that was meaningful to them. Brought them into the restaurant and we prepared the dish and then that dish is featured for the month that they were um, designated. So we began the year of International Women's Series. Um, we were very fortunate enough to raise over uh, $7,500 for the three charities that I picked. The charities are Savage Support, which I'm on the board of, a founding member also. What we do is we assist women and men who are diagnosed with breast cancer, but they need help with uh, maybe doing their laundry or um, help with getting their groceries, maybe someone to come in and prepare their meals for them, folding their laundry, taking them to their doctor's appointment. We had one woman that was, am it was amazing. She was a huge gardener and she, because of um, her diagnosis, she wasn't able to tend her garden. So we went in and we actually had some Boy Scouts come in and help you know, do the garden for her. So she was able to actually have her garden without you know, physically being able to do it herself. So that's Savage Support. The second charity is Courage Milwaukee, which I'm so just grateful and honored to know Brad and Nick, who are the founders of it. They, this year has been just amazing because they were able to open Courage Milwaukee House. It's just been amazing to actually see their dream come to fruition and be a part of this. Um, I'm just so humbled by it. Courage Milwaukee is um, focused on the LGBTQ community youth that are homeless. When I was first became part of helping out with Courage Milwaukee, I was just astonished at how many homeless children we have here in our beautiful community of Milwaukee. You know, I grew up here, and to know that there are so many homeless children on the streets is just, I mean, I'm getting teary I just thinking of it. It's just devastating to me. And if I can help to get these kids off the street and give them a purpose and know that they are loved by all of us and they are unique in their own ways and beautiful and amazing. And now to be able to give them a home to teach them the skills and to you know, get them ready for the community. I'm gonna go in and teach them how to cook some meals and with the funds that were raised this year, we were actually um, able to purchase dressers for the um, Courage Milwaukee home. And I literally went online and purchased the dressers. They were delivered, the boys put them together and they're using them today. So to be a part of a charity that you know where your money's going, you can walk in and physically touch what you helped bring toward the charity is amazing. Obviously, I've, it's very dear to my heart. Um, and then the third charity is Express Yourself Milwaukee. And again, that is focused toward the youth it's more um, through the arts. So what they do is they put on an annual fundraiser. The whole year, the children are part of every aspect of the charity. And Lori Vance this year is actually part of the International Women's Series, and she is the founder of Express Yourself Milwaukee. So the kids from day one, they're learning how to play instruments. They're part of the graphic designs, designing their t-shirts. They do the backdrops for the performance that they put on. They choreograph, they sing, they dance. It's just amazing. And that is also helping to keep our youth just off the streets or sitting home playing video games, you know, all day. They're, it's just, it's getting them active in, in the community and teaching them skills. One of the uh, women that she started with Express Yourself 
um, Milwaukee as a child, she now plays in the Milwaukee Symphony, you know, and she learned to play the violin through Express Yourself Milwaukee. So just amazing. And I'm, you know, again, just so thrilled to be a part of that. And these three charities are near and dear to my heart. This is our second year. The momentum is building and I'm I'm patting myself on my own back because I'm really proud of what I've done and created. We're making a difference here in Milwaukee and it really means a lot to me to do that, be part of my community and also get you into the pasta tree and teach you and educate you about all these beautiful women that are a part of my life. So thank you and um, I hope to see you in the restaurant and if you want any information just take a look at our Facebook page, our Instagram page, our website. I look forward to you joining in on our series. So thank you, have a great day, and cheers. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of International Women Series. I have Sheila Hufal-Bateen here, a dear friend of mine, and also the owner of Brood Cafe on Brady Street in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here today we're going to be making um, a wonderful recipe that's very dear to Sheila's heart. Mm -hmm. It is um, a cherry cheesecake. Sheila, welcome. Thank you so oh, much for yeah. being here. Thank you and, for inviting me. And being a part of the International Women Series. Of course. Um, Sheila is our Miss January, mm -hmm. and uh, her event, her dinner, is January 28th from mm -hmm. 6 to 8 p.m. So tell me a little bit about the cheesecake and why you picked that recipe, and tell me some about Brood Cafe. And I'm going to grab the butter right away and start melting it okay. for the, yeah, the crust. Um, the recipe that I chose um, was just the first one that came to my mind because it's always been a favorite of mine and my family's. Yep. Um, believe it or not, um, this recipe is from my, my foods 101 class in high school. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and after I made this recipe, I was like, I couldn't believe how good it was, <laughs> and neither could anybody else. Yeah. And, but it's so simple, and everybody thinks cheesecake is really difficult, but yeah. if you do it in the right steps, and you just uh, follow instructions, you really can't mess up right. too bad. Cool. But, um, yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the crust. Um, there's about four steps. Uh, first one is the crust, and we're gonna take, um, one and a half cups of graham crackers and just grind them um, or roll them with a rolling pin. Yep. So they're nice and small. And so I have these ready for you. Yep. And, and then I have the sugar also portioned out here. Yep. Um, it takes um, one and a half tablespoons of sugar and um, two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of uh, melted butter. And that's what I'm doing margarine. over here right now. Yep. And after that, you could probably um, put the sugar in there. And okay. Just kind of evenly mix it mix up. Mix it up. Yeah. Great. And then we can add the. My butter's ready. Melted butter. And then. It'll just um, kind of bind everything together. To what I thought was kind of neat about this um, recipe is most cheesecakes that I make, I bake the crust first. Mm -hmm. And this one you don't. You just put the filling yeah. right in. Yeah. yeah. So it is really super simple. You don't, it's, you don't have yeah. that extra step. I mean, um, everybody thinks a crust is always the hard part. Yeah. But with this recipe, it's just so easy. Yeah. Um, and you're just gonna, after it's all mixed up with the butter, um, you we'll can just, just put it in here. Yeah, and just uh, press it, press it down to the shape of the pan. Okay. Evenly. All right. I'm gonna put some gloves on for that. Sure. And then um, I guess we could probably start on the filling, right? Because yes. we're gonna put it right in here. Yes. So I have the mixer right over here. If you wanna, um, you can just put it in the bowl here. Okay. And um, then, or do you cream the cream cheese first, or, <clears throat> um, or just yeah, add it all? Everything, as long as it's at room temperature, we could probably put it, it all, all together. together. Okay. Yeah. So this is it's probably room temperature. It's been out quite a while. So tell me a little bit about. Um, so you own Brood Cafe, 
Um, and yes. we were talking earlier, it's been 12 years already. Yeah, October 1st will be 12 years. I That just blows me away, Sheila, because uh-huh. I remember when you first bought it. Yeah. Um, or first started it. Yeah, it's amazing how, yep. how fast the How time, time flies, huh? Yeah. It's I know this kind of the same thing with the pasta tree. We're in December, we're celebrating 38 years. Holy cow. I know. Wow. <clears throat> so talk about a landmark, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you guys do a lot of really cool events, too. I mean, you're tell us a little bit about Brew Cafe, because it's very, it's a really unique coffee shop. Yeah. I mean, really I mean, local artists are celebrated. and. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the first uh, coffee shops that opened up in Milwaukee. And um, before, like, all the big coffee roasters made their mark yeah. here. Yeah. And it was, it was more or less like just a very social uh, place where you could meet up with friends and just hang out. And um, you have live music sometimes too, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We have yeah. a lot of um, local musicians come in. Um, usually, I mean, it's like one person just kind of doing their their own thing, doing a solo. Act. Like acoustic, go- yeah, like guitar acoustic, or something. But we have had um, full on. Uh, bands come in and like have like a horn section and cool. drums and and we've had a, a couple like famous people. I think one of the guys from the Violent Femmes was there one day with his band. So oh that was yeah, fun. that's totally cool. So okay, so we have the cream cheese, the sugar, some lemon juice, and then um, and the um, we vanilla. Need eggs. Yep. Yeah. And Okay. Awesome. And then I'm just going to get this started over here. Mm-hmm. And, and then you also have um, like local, ju- like people that make jewelry too, oh, yeah. you have hanging in the restaurant. Yeah, I have um, or a that, lot of the, local like, artists um, that paint ceramics and make jewelry and yeah. stained glass and um, being a former artist uh, well I'm not I worked in the art field for about 20 years before I actually started uh, running the cafe but um, so the art, artists are, have always been uh, near and dear to me so I, I like to support them and, and mostly local artists because Oh, there's just so many of us out there and it's and it's hard to get a start yeah, yeah. yeah. and I noticed now you're also serving um, CBD mm-hmm. um, like infused drinks Is that yes yes um, mostly just in drinks um, we haven't really experimented with the, the baking end of things just because there's another uh, store on the street that is doing that yeah and um, I just wanted to kind of keep it simple, but still have that offering to people, and it's been working out really well. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people at first were just like really curious and wondering about it, and it's it's not as I don't know. It, it's not like you're getting high. No, <laughs> no not at all. It's CBD. And yeah. That's what people are always inquisitive about. about. Yeah. But um, it has a lot of health benefits. Um, I mean, anything you can think of, like <laughs> it's good for pain, arthritis, um, your heart, your your brain. Um, yep. Everything. Um, and it, it it's good for anxiety as well. It has a calming effect, but absolutely no like feeling of being high or anything right. like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're gonna just. Um, Pour this in here, mm-hmm. and then we'll bake it in the oven at 375 for. I don't know, it's got cut off. <laughs> for about 35 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so here we you go. Something like that. I'm just loving that you don't have to bake the crust. Because that's yeah. kind of always, you know, bake the crust, yeah. then you got to wait for it to cool, then you add your filling. Yeah. So it really is a, a simple recipe. I like that. Yeah. And then I, it's also really cool because you add this, it's a 
sour cream topping. Yeah, and this is the part that really makes it unique. Yeah, I, yeah, it's it's really sweet and it it just tastes so good. It's just a half a pint of sour cream. Um, and this I have a half pint here. I already measured it. Um, and then sugar. Yes. Sugar. Okay, this I didn't measure, so I'm just gonna do kind of a quick. Yeah. It's two tablespoons. And two teaspoons of sugar. So, like one tablespoon, two tablespoons. If you add a little more sugar, yeah. I don't think anybody little. will complain. Okay, and then um, what else? Vanilla? I have a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh. Did mm -hmm. I use it all? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> we got a little in there. Yeah. And then, so we just mix this, and then it just goes on top. Do we bake it then? Um, yeah, after the cheesecake comes out of the oven, um, then you just kind of spread that over the top and put it back in the oven for five more minutes. Okay. And then you take it out and you just let it cool. Let it cool a little bit? Yeah. And then we'll put the last step of, which is uh, the canned cherries. Okay. Or you can use raspberries or strawberries. Or it doesn't even have to be canned. It can be fresh as okay. well. But, yeah. um, but this orig original recipe had the canned ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it's been about 35 minutes. We'll check mm -hmm. on that cheesecake. <laughs> Looking good. Oh yeah, perfect. That well, looks beautiful. All right, so you wanna just spread this on there? Sure. Yum. So we'll be serving this the whole month of January. Yes. And um, another little special thing is that Sheila's son loves this cheesecake. Oh, yeah. And it's his birthday in January. And she yeah. usually makes this for him, right? Yeah. He, this is his special, he, like, birthday cake. Yeah. This is his all-time favorite. And being the picky eater he is, I, <laughs> I try to, you know, do something special right. on his birthday. So we'll give him his his favorite. Yep. It's great. Okay, and then we're just gonna... Put it in for like five minutes? Yep, five okay. minutes. All right, so I will do that. Great. So, um, Brood Cafe, and then uh, you used to be a local artist here? I, I worked as a, a graphic artist, designer, for like 20 years, and that's where I, I met my husband, who is like very good friends with yes. you. You went to high school with Yep, CJ, yeah, yeah, he's my dear friend. Yeah. Yep. Which is funny because now we've become really good friends yeah. through CJ, yeah. and um, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Absolutely. So, um, <laughs> it's been fun. It has been fun. We've had a lot of, um, a lot of good times together. Yeah. <laughs> And, and it's, it's great to have like a fellow, a friend that owns a business near, you know, too. Yeah. I haven't had to call on you for anything, which is good. You know, <laughs> like, can I borrow linen or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a cup of sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still, you know, have the, the love for my, my art, but um, this is just a, a different uh, form of art is Absolutely. Owning, owning the cafe. Because it, it takes someone who has a little uh, creativity. Yeah, and eclectic. I, yeah, yeah. And, and that's definitely what Brood Cafe is. Uh, eclectic and being on Brady Street, um, it, it just has that reputation of all things. <laughs> all things happen there. Yeah, It's absolutely. really beautiful. And you can yeah. see your art come through. Like Sheila does all of her own signs and mm -hmm. you can really see her artistry come through in the restaurant. Um, it's it's beautiful and yeah. I mean it's just it's feminine Thanks. too you know yeah. you can see that it's owned by a woman which is right yeah. on woman power <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, and you do really great sandwiches I know I love your turkey sandwich yeah there. I mean just because we're a small coffee shop um, doesn't mean we don't do gluten a lot free of food. too you're yeah. huge on gluten free stuff and and, and uh, vegan vegan as yes well. yeah so I mean you can go there vegan gluten free have lunch and not 
worry about. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of things to eat. That's yeah. what. That's a huge. And everything point. is yeah. is homemade too. Yes. Like our uh, our soups and all of our spreads that we use as ingredients. Yeah, your pastries. Yep. Everything. All of our bakery is yep. homemade as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if you're yeah. ever in town or ever <laughs> nearby, stop at Brute Cafe. Yeah. Say hi to Sheila. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think we probably have about five minutes in the oven already. Yeah. 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 Take that out. So we've let it cool a little bit. Now we can mm -hmm. put the cherries on, right? Yes. Um, I'll let you do it. Okay. <laughs> you can put on as much or as little as you like. Um, I I actually load it. Yeah, Pretty I think good. so too. That's the yummy part of the. I love that you use lemon juice and vanilla. Yeah, the, it really is a a good complement to the fruit as well. So I have some plums that I just got from um, a local farmer here. So oh, wow. I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to use some plums on one of them. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Yeah, you can really put any kind yeah. of topping on it. That I mean, we'll like. serve it in January with obviously with your with the cherries. Yeah, but this will be your nice recipe. and cheery for the dreary month of January. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> It'll be cheery, cherry. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. All right, and that's all there is to it. All right. All right, well, we got a piece cut here. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to try it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, thanks again, Sheila, so oh, much for yeah. doing this. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Make sure to join us for um, Sheila's dinner, uh, January 28th, 6 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll have all the information posted on mm -hmm. our website, um, our Facebook, our Instagram. Also, you can visit Brute Cafe. There'll be information there. And um, let's take a bite. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Yeah. I love it. It is yummy. It Very like good. It always has. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. It's really good. Really good and super simple to make. And yeah. I love that you're using a recipe from like high school home ec. Yeah. Um, hopefully, this will inspire the teachers out there to bring home ec back to our schools. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've actually brought a couple recipes from my foods class. I think there was a pineapple upside down cake that yeah. we make too. And that it, you use. It's fun for everybody yep. to be able to bake um, with these recipes. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, cheers. Yeah, Thanks right. again. Yeah. Thank cheers you. to you. <laughs> cheers. <laughs>